Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to Beth Israel Congregation. We're going to begin our service. Uh, nous allons commencer notre service. Uh, et comme à tous les samedis, nous consacrons ce service à notre Dieu. Uh, as uh, every Saturday, we want to dedicate this time to our Lord, um, so He can teach us His ways. He can show us his truth in his word and he can lead us in the worship of his name. So I would like uh, to ask you to stand up if you can and we're going to start with prayer. Our mighty king, our Lord, we know that you are here in our midst, Lord. We know that you are acquainted with all our ways, Lord. And before we speak, you know all things we're going to say, Lord. Your knowledge is complete. And your wisdom is great, Lord. And we want to come before you humbly to ask you to lead us this morning in this worship, lead us this morning in the message, lead us this morning in all the ministries here at Beth Ariel so we can serve you um, humbly and patiently and look in your direction and worship you and praise you for you are worthy of praise. You are our king and master and we love you, Lord, in Yeshua's name. Parle aux enfants. 
enfants d'Israël et dis-leur qu'ils se fassent de génération en génération une frange au bord de leurs vêtements et qu'ils mettent un cordon bleu sur cette frange du bord de leurs vêtements. Quand vous aurez cette frange, vous la regarderez et vous vous souviendrez de tous les commandements de l'Éternel pour les mettre en pratique. Et vous ne suivrez pas les désirs de vos cœurs et de vos yeux pour vous laisser entraîner à l'infidélité. Vous vous souviendrez ainsi de mes commandements, vous les mettrez en pratique et vous serez saints pour votre Dieu. Ensemble, je serre ta parole dans mon cœur afin de ne pas pécher contre toi. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O oh my God, and your law is within my heart. All together. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, O oh God, you will not despise. Then you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness. Je vous exhorte donc, frères, par les compassions de Dieu, à offrir vos corps comme un sacrifice vivant, sain, agréable à Dieu, ce qui sera de votre part un culte raisonnable. Ne vous conformez pas au siècle présent, mais soyez transformés par le renouvellement de l'intelligence, afin que vous discerniez quelle est la volonté de Dieu, ce qui est bon, agréable et parfait. Ensemble. Et puisque vous êtes vous aussi des pierres vivantes, édifiez-vous pour former un temple spirituel et pour constituer un groupe de prêtres consacrés à Dieu, chargés de lui offrir des sacrifices spirituels qu'il pourra accepter favorablement par Yeshua le Messie. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. All together, O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Je t'offrirai de bon, de, de bon cœur des sacrifices. Je louerai ton nom, ô Éternel, car il est favorable. Et ensemble, qu'on célèbre ton nom grand et redoutable, il est saint.
Let's remember that the priests did not drink the wine offering. They poured it out instead. Was it a waste to pour it out? Was it a waste when Mary poured out expensive perfume on Yeshua's feet? When Saul said he was a drink offering poured out, did he mean that his life was wasted? When we pour out ourselves for one another, and when we pour ourselves into the lives of others, there's no waste whatsoever. But are we pouring ourselves out on the sacrifice itself, on Messiah? Or are we pouring our life out into things that satisfy ourselves, pleasures that will waste away with time? When we look back at our lives in our old age, like when Paul did, what will we rejoice in having done? Our true joy will only be measured in how much we poured out our life for the Lord. That is why we come here today to magnify you, sanctify your name, we want to be poured out as a sacrifice for your work and for your kingdom, O oh Lord. Magnify and sanctify his name. But by his word the universe was framed. When the Messiah was born, Lord was a creature born. He reigned alone in majesty, the king of all eternity. Oh, magnify and sanctify his name. Eat Kadavi Kadash Shmeraba. Oh, praise his holy name forevermore. Don't so what he say, and he has said to honor my truth. This kingdom comes with righteousness and peace. Creation will experience release. Then the curse will be removed as all nature is renewed. The nations will be gathered and the people will be free from sin. Oh, magnify and sanctify his name.
Il règne sur leur majesté, un roi de toute éternité, au magnifique sanctifié son nom. It Kadash, Kadash, Shmeraba. Chapter 15 is a chapter of promise. Why? Because here we will learn that all the mentioned sacrifices in this chapter were only going to be done once Israel was in the land. And that was going to be some 38 years later. That might seem like a long time to wait, but it certainly tests our faith to wait on God's promises. And one of the promises God gives us from Philippians chapter 1 is that he will finish the work he started in us, even if it takes 38 years. We can be sure that God continues to work through us until he is through working with us, and then we will receive the full benefit of his promise, entering into the land of promise. Would a surgeon open up a patient and start the surgery without closing him up at the end? That surgeon takes an oath to guard the patient's well-being. How much greater the oath from God. God we know is immutable, never changing, so we can trust his promises, which are unchanging. So let's imitate Paul, who said, with confidence, fully persuaded, totally convinced of God's promises, that he would set his ways always before the Lord. We have set our ways before you, Lord. Thank you. Praise Him 
for his love. Oh, let the saints be joyful in glory. All that is breath can praise the Lord. Just one God who is sovereign in glory. By his grace we have been restored. Praise our Lord from the highest of heaven. Praise him all you hosts above. Praise the name of his son Yeshua. Praise him for his love. Lu Olusenya. Praise him for his love. Lu Olusenya. Praise him for his love. Hallelujah. Brian, my dear brother, can you put up Sharon Timmerman here and Daniel uh, Mayer as well, just for us. Thank you very much. So the peace offering is not only something from biblical days, it's something we see even today. Every time a husband has done something wrong, he goes into the florist shop, buys a bouquet of flowers, and gives his wife a peace offering. <laughs> Sometimes that peace offering is in the form of a box of chocolates. That's my kind of offering. <laughs> but a peace offering in the Mosaic Law was beautiful. It was a voluntary free will offering to thank God for his generosity. That's what Hannah offered to God when she fulfilled her vow. She offered God a peace offering. And this shows the peace and rest she had in her heart for all that the Lord had done for her. While most of the offerings in the Mosaic Law were not meant to be eaten, the peace offering was being given back to the poor and the needy. The peace offering of the Mosaic Law helps us look forward to that ultimate peace offering when everyone will enjoy eating and partaking at the heavenly messianic banquet. Yes, though the bouquet of flowers will fade on this side of heaven, God's peace offering to us, his son, will last for eternity. Indeed, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall not only inherit the earth, but inherit the new heaven and the new earth of God's eternity. Let's rest in that peace. Let this day be a sanctuary, a sanctuary in time. This day proclaims God is true to his name. It's 
the taste of his finest wine. Yes. Blessed, Blessed are the merciful, for they will have your mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, to see you face to face. Blessed be the Lord our God, and blessed are the wise who take refuge in his name. Yom Zeh Israel, Ola Besimcha, Shabbat Menucha. Yom Zeh Israel, Ola Besimcha, Shabbat Menucha. Yom Zeh Israel, Ola Besimcha, Shabbat Menucha. In Psalm 3, David cries out, and he prays to the Lord. He prays that the Lord would arise and save him from the enemy. How is our prayer life? Moses' prayer saved a nation. What would have happened had he failed to pray? We have been commissioned not to carry through with the sin of omission. Prophet Samuel says it so well. As for me... Far be it from me that I sin against the Lord by failing to pray for you. Consider for just a minute where we would be if God forgot to extend his salvation or mercy towards us. Rise up, O Lord, and teach us to pray that we might fight pride and declare publicly how much we need to pray to you, our God of mercy. Kuma Adonai, Oshieni Elohai, Ladonai Yeshua, Halemcha Bilchatecha. Kuma Adonai, Oshieni Elohai, Ladonai Yeshua. Alam Khabir Khatecha Koli El Adonai Ekra Yaneni Meha Kocho Koli El Adonai Ekra Yaneni Meha Kocho Koli El Adonai Ekra Yaneni Meha Kocho From his hill he answered me. Many do say unto my soul, there's no salvation for me. But when I called upon the Lord, from his hill he answered me. Kuma Adonai, Oshieni Elohai, Adonai Ha 
toi, Seigneur. Saint pour toi, Seigneur. Entends ma prière et rends-moi saint pour toi, Seigneur. Kadosh. Kadosh, Kadosh, Lecha. Kadosh, Kadosh, Lecha. timing, O oh Lord, is perfect. And even though we are still counting down, at the same time we are looking up. Maybe today, Lord. Maybe today. <laughs> There is a day when all in Christ are waiting for, waiting for a day of freedom, liberation for the saints. And on that day, the Lord will come to meet his bride, meet his bride. And when we see him, in an instant we'll be changed. The trumpet sounds, and the dead will then be raised. Then be raised. And by his power, never to suffer again. Once only flesh, now clothed in immortality. immortality. And death has now swallowed up in victory. Victory! Oh. We will meet him in the air And then we will be like him For we will see him as he is, oh yeah Then all hurt and pain will cease And we'll be with him forever And in his glory we will live, oh yeah As yet unseen, yeah, yeah, unseen, that will remain for all eternity. Though trouble's hard, it's only momentary, momentary, and it's achieving our future glory. glory. Oh, yeah, we will meet him in the air. And then we will be like him, for we will see him as he is, oh yeah. Then all her 
blood and pain will cease and we'll be with him forever and in his glory we will live oh yeah we will meet him in the air and then we will be like him for we will see him as he is oh yeah just to share very something very personal that touches my heart I was uh, choosing the songs but I, I never read the, the message of, of a pastor I didn't know how much he would speak about evangelism today okay just to tell you this is the Spirit of God to him be the glory we're going to sing Manavu how blessed are the feet of those who share good news
in the children's study today, um, one child who is just learning to read and another child who is uh, a little bit further ahead, uh, they sat together so that they could read the Bible verses together. And, uh, and I just watched as they had their fingers on the words and, um, you know, and as, they, and as they went through it, you know, he took him through word by word so that it would mean something to him and it, and it really did and um, that's we spent we spent quite a while in that because it was just so beautiful and I just saw two uh, boys you know uh, under the the tutoring of the Lord learning together and reading his word together it was so beautiful I, I wish I would have like filmed it or, or taken a picture of it but I hope uh, that you have that vision in your mind and your heart the way I do now. It was really, really precious, and I praise God because we pray all the time that uh, you know His Word and who He is would resonate, you know, reach into their hearts, those those growing hearts. So it's really a privilege and a pleasure. I know not just for me, but for the other teachers as well, as they bring um, His Word to them. Everyone who teaches has a story to tell about what they saw with the children, and uh, it's really special. Notre 
toi Dieu et roi de l'univers qui donne le pain de la terre.